Okay, now I feel better about that. And yeah, no, that's an interesting new entry screen. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. I'm Dark Sun Fox, and we're going to continue on where we left off, which was, uh... I actually don't remember, because it's been a few day, two, a day or two. Oh my god, I'm very tired. <laughs> uh, let's, see, let's open it and see where we were. Because I, I know we were, like, pretty far into it. I know we got Jack back. I remember that. And we had to move camp from the original camp beforehand to, like, a house where, uh, me and Lenny had cleared it out of the Lemoyne Raiders, I believe they're called. And, um, now we're right there as a base of operations until we move again. I'm going to assume, like, maybe in the next chapter or two. Oh, hey, it's me. Ya boy. With his beard that I've shaved now. Yeah, we're, yeah we are in Rhodes, I believe. If I remember right. Yeah, that's a, I believe that's a house outside of St. Denise, if I remember. Or denies. I don't know how to say that word. Hi, girl. Been good? Yeah, we're at the Shady Bell. What? What the hell did I do last time? I legitimately don't remember. <laughs> Uh, I, I must have did something to get a bounty as soon as I enter. Um, huh. And there's nothing leading towards it. Well, I should pay off this bounty first, because I don't know how bad it's going to be. Alright. Uh, at least we're back into it. And I didn't play last night, because I had an early morning shift today at work, so that was fun, and uh, we were understaffed again, <laughs> and I'm quite pissed off about that. Yes, I'm sure. Okay, I did save last time. Alright. At least there's that, but uh, yeah. I had essentially he kind of just been moving around. I've kind of been at work, and it's not been great, Especially the fact that as I'm recording this and kind of pulling, turning back a bit, it is the, the 20th of December. It is the, well, I guess midnight of the 21st. And. Oh, hey! Look who it is. Oh. I'm still picking the dust out from my teeth. So, what do you say we go again? First one of Catfish Jackson's. How could I say no? Ready? Let's go! I'll explain a bit, but I won't win this race. Later. Skies above. Later. I'm winning. Will you please stop? Hey, you got in my way. He's my horse dust. Uh... Oh, wherever this is, I'm, get, I'm probably going to make it. I just realized it might lead me back to the mission I'm supposed to be doing. Tough race. Just had the edge today. How was that? Good race. Could have gone either way. I wish things was different, but hey, take care of yourself. Go easy, <sighs> Well, I guess I'm doing this since I'm like essentially in the vicinity. I feel like that was a that was set up for that to happen. <sighs> All right. Guess we're doing this first. What? Hey, buddy. Hey, you better help. 
have a damn good reason for being on my property, mister. Remember that loan you took, Mr. Davison? Well, time's long since up. I'm here to collect. Oh, uh, I should have known. You goddamn bludgeon men are all the same. Sure, sure, I got your money. Every stinking cent. It's in the house. Hell, I'll even offer you a drink. We can toast to never laying eyes on each other again. Wait, really? I got a powerful thirst on me right now. How about you? Well, you gotta be stinking drunk already to do this kind of work. Uh, I like doing it sober. You take my money, surely you take a drink off me as well. That would be the manly thing to do. All right. Let's just handle the money first. Worry about manners later. I mean, okay? is it really gonna be this easy? I could be fishing. You were catching flies. You weren't catching fish. Now come on. Let's get us that debt. Someone's here, boy. Oh. Sergeant Wait, what's going on? Don't just stand there. Go fix us a drink. Another one, Pop? Don't give me no talk, boy. Just do it. I'll look down here for our savings. Savings? Under the sink? Best place for them. Now where's them drinks, boy? Drinks ready. It's right there, miss. Thanks. Oh! You s I cut your damn head! Clean off! Buddy. Now you see. Now you just made it worse. <sighs> Fucking drunken fool. Alright. Now I gotta go around and look for my goddamn money. Thanks. You, know, you could have made this easier on yourself. Oh no. You gotta be myth. Mr. Tough Guy. Mr. Oh yeah, no. I can definitely try and take on the guy who seems to prove himself in a fucking fight. Goddamn idiot. Ugh, I swear. Alright. See what... Nah. I have a shotgun. Uh, we got more gin. Box. Can't open. Maybe I have to pick up the shotgun. Or not. Oh, here we go. Anything in the fireplace? No. I don't want another beating. Son, I want to get out of here, but I can't until I find some money. There's some in my footlocker. I I've been keeping it away from him. Ain't that lucky? Well, kid, thank you very much. I think I know the sum, and that should cover it. Ain't you the good son? You should be proud of yourself. But until then, I'm just gonna do a little bit more while looking around here. See? You know. That's it. I told you. I know. My pa's a drunk and a destitute. There ain't nothing else here. Will you relax, son? I ain't gonna harm you. You just sit tight, I guess. Dearest Nate, I don't know how many letters I've written now, but I won't stop trying. Even the act of writing feels like someone, some connection to you, which is certainly better than none. I can understand how hurt and angry you must be for walking out on you like that, but I promise that I love you with all my heart. I just can't take it another day. Okay. A day longer, I mean. You know your father's temper, especially when he's drinking. 
when he was drinking, which it was all the time. At the end, I found a work. I'm renting a small house. Just give me a, the word, and I'll send for you. You can start again. Love you always, Ma. You know, that kid really... He should just leave with his mom. Be perfectly honest, if you work. Hey, kid. You should probably go... You won't find nothing else here. Please, just leave. I'm just saying, you should probably go live with your mom. Trust me, I feel like it's a better life for you. Especially in this place. In here, actually. Well, there might be a cigarette card in there. All right, my dead eyes been increased. Neat. All right, I think that's everything. Okay, my girl. Well, we'll go trim this in, and then I guess go fix up my bounty. I mean, I've already got it marked on my map. Help me. Help me. Whoa. Whoa. What happened, man? My horse threw me, and I landed on my foot, and I heard a snap. My legs all numb. Hands up now! Hey, you best damn well listen. Where you going? Dumbass motherfucker. Really, lady? Did you really think I was gonna be that stupid and just let you take my shit? How dumb are you? I don't think a horse is laying on your leg. I think I'm laying on your head. Damn it. Can I get one more where I'm not chasing after a witness? Bitch. Let's go, girl. Yep. Uh. 
Whew. Are you in this town as well? Run up a tab now, have we? Good evening, sir. Thank you. Oh, hi, boy. Where are you a girl? Hi. You okay, boy? You good boy. Good boy. Good papa. Oh yeah, you like that. Good boy. Oh yeah. Yeah, you like that. Good boy. Alright, I'm gonna go in here before it closes. How's your life? Hope you brought money this time. Ain't gonna get away with swiping in here anymore. All right, let's head back to camp and see what this mission's about. Seems like Charles has got a bank robbery mission. I like it. You brought hell down on yourself. Oh, mister. Thank you. How I even managed to stay faithful to that goddamn psychopath as long as I did. Out of his mind. You should get out of here. I'm sure this attracted some attention. Time to go. Yeah. Well, they can't win this zone who isn't there. <laughs> See, all those line is a body. Do you have stuff? I didn't know that. Charles? Monsieur Arami, I made it. I have the sun on my face, the sand between my toes, and a beautiful vine in beautiful vine in my bed. The islands are everything I thought they would be, and more. Do not believe the light and the colors. Peeler, so much brighter and more alive than anything in anyone in St. Denise. It feels like the world away, which of course it is. You may be surprised. The alcove by the far window over there? Yeah, I did. Let me tell you, some very important decisions have been made by some very important men putting their heads together right there. Good for you. You may be surprised, but you, have, you are my only true friend for those dark, dreary days. It did, you did not ask for anything. You only get how perfect... I detest the selfish asses more than civilized itself. But what that is civilization really but organized selfishness? I must constrain in my most most primal you know, and vital we desires. Have some very important guests in Rhodes at the moment arrived on yesterday's train. I can't say who, of course. Very important though. And vile desires, so you may, may be comfortable. Pa! No mercy. The price of tobacco just seems to keep dropping. This island is paradise is what the civilized world would call primitive, but people here are the most generous in ways as they may not put in words that I have met. Why is this? Because they are free. I have never painted and painted now. It is work like works which are married. Have you seen those vagrants and gutter pups who just lie around the town bell outside? Drinking and sleeping. Disgusting. I'd have them whip. I know Charles is getting along fine. Now we travel through the night. Drop out the debt, and then we'll have yeah. get off the Charles. Hold on, I'm dropping some stuff off. What? Take it easy with that stuff. 
This is taking it easy. Well, careful, Javier. We're stuck in the ship now, Mr. Morgan. In the ship. We're drowning in mud. For a man of the cloth, you have quite a way with words. Words are the very least of my problems. The very least. I'm sure. What, they're just gone now? Oh, man. <sighs> that sucks. I guess I'll try again. Alright, now let's see what Hosea needs. Hosea? Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, we yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch van der Linde is finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, I'm getting more clothes. <laughs> well, this seems unprecedented, I guess. Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There could be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, Luca, I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. This way, please, gentlemen. Senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be here. Ah, that's wonderful, wonderful. That. Come, come, this way. Uh, what a beautiful evening it shall be. Mr. Brante is a very good friend with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli? As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know, Mr. Brante, he has uh, the thing, you know, uh, respect. Jose, Bill, you join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Brante. Come, come. We'll meet you out for the balcony when you're done. Pretty fancy place he's got. I'll give him that. For the prima volta this mese, senza dubbio. Oh, <laughs> this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. <laughs> so, this is Saint Denis High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, <laughs> Senor Bronte. No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley, <laughs> a, a Confederate major in the war. <laughs> I mean, a hero, they say, but that this is his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. <laughs> oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, <laughs> they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, and a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows, mm. this self-righteous newspaper man. 
Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such. Not in cold blood, anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. I'm not taken. None taken! <laughs> All these vulgar people, they hate me. <laughs> non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire! <laughs> well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those sure were the days. Yeah. <laughs> the day, <gentlemen>. <laughs> <laughs> I would want to watch him hang right now if it wasn't for the fact he was... Well, we are going to need some money. Money. Yes, of course. Well, there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you, pff, as a guest, yes, as my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. <laughs> I'll show you to the party, gentlemen, if you'll kindly follow me. Right. Why do you lock that door in particular? Gentlemen, enjoy your evening and welcome once again to Saint Denis. Ciao, ciao. Yeah. Gentlemen, let's go and greet you. Okay. Go find the mayor if you can and stay out of trouble and steal nothing unless it's information. Of course. Jose, you go find us some place to rob. Bill, go make us some new friends. I'm gonna find that old corn boy. What's his name? No. Champagne, sir? A small one. Please. Just big enough. Gentlemen, I hope you're having a fine evening. Ah, Mr. Mayor, wonderful to see you again. <laughs> and you, this intellectual here was just insulting me to guard the Redskin. I did no such thing. But, Mr. Lemieux, I suggested that all the good Europeans had a duty to take care of people living in this land. And that extends to Saint Denis. It ain't complex, and you, and only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, so, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy. You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, but this man, this man loves darkies. Hey, <laughs> you are <laughs> drunk. I say you and me cool off. Hello. <clears throat> Get your hands off me. <laughs> Just, uh, quiet. Come on, sleep it off. Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. We need to rejoin the park. How do you do? Evening, folks. How do you do? Good evening. <clears throat> Pardon me, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. That's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? Oh, Lord. Ryder? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh! Oh! Wow. Oh! Monsieur, please. 
Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass, and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. Well, it's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. Yes. Find out what. Sure. That's a little bit sound about porn now, huh? place well secured. Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hawks. Thank you, Mr. Terrible. Babe! Is everything taken care of? The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. <sighs> Marie! Marie! Find that little reprobate Jeep and beat him! I will not have standard slip in this house! Have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. <coughs> Who do you think you are? This area is not meant for the likes of you. You know this. The standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight. Well, that pretty motherfucker, ain't he? Secret, extremely confidential, very interesting. Yeah, I might want to read it later. Let's get out of here before someone notices. Waste of time. Maybe not. Arthur? Gentlemen, I think we're done here. What did you find out? There's plenty of money moves through here, of course, and I, I think I found out how we can grab some of it. Big bank. Real one, I mean. But not yet. A city bank? Maybe. And a stuffed one. If we're gonna leave, that could be the one thing we need. <laughs> 
There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high-stakes poker game. Come on. Here comes Lenny. All right. Let's get in. <coughs> Go home! Oh, I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk all so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? But yeah, a little people bit. people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. <sighs> Let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. Right. <sighs> 